Hello and welcome to Intro to Sparkling Wine. Uh, so you might have heard a few terms for sparkling wine. Uh, some of them might be like Champagne, Prosecco, Cava, Bubbly, which I have listed here. Uh, so I'll explain what these terms are. Uh, so the first thing you might hear most commonly is uh, Champagne. Uh, so what is Champagne? Champagne uh, isn't a term for all sparkling wine. Uh, in the wine world, it specifically means Champagne from the Champagne region of France. Uh, so all Champagne is French. Uh, Champagne also is made uh, in the uh, the traditional method of Champagne, so it's the original sparkling wine. Uh, and it's, I mean, so the method is called the traditional method or the Champagne method. Although other wines can use this method too. Uh, and so when you look at a Champagne, you might find there's also different terms on it called like brew or uh, demi-sec. Uh, so sparkling wines range from extra brew, which is the driest, to uh, brew to extra dry and dry and then demi-second nectar. So if you see a champagne with the word dry on it, it's not the driest wine. It's actually semi-sweet or uh, or at least um, in the middle of sweetness. Um, and so this method uh, is used is done traditionally in where it ferments in the bottle. Uh, you'll see other terms like prosecco and cava, for example. And those are just other uh, countries. So Proseccos are from Italy uh, and Cavas are from Spain. And so Cavas and Prosecco, along with most other wines, they're made using the second most common method, the Charmat method. And that's where it's the second fermentation in the tank, where they add yeast to the tank. Uh, and yeast tend to be dry as well, uh, and, uh, or it's done a little bit sweeter, most of them tend to be fairly dry. And then bubbly just means sparkling wine in general. Uh, yeah, thank you and have a great day.